Are you considering joining the Air Force? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan. In this channel, I talk about Air Force topics as well as my own personal interests, such as my flight school journey. I recently started flight school and I will be posting some of those videos in this channel. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and smash the like button for the YouTube gods. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about what to think before joining the military. The most important thing you have to do is analyze your current situation. I think the lifestyle is the most important thing to think about before joining the military. Some questions you should ask yourself are, why are you joining? Are you joining for the benefits? Are you joining to learn something new? Are you joining to leave your town? Or are you joining just to get out and explore the world? Some other things to consider are, are you single? Do you have family? Does anyone else depend on you? Uh, did you just graduate high school or do you have a college degree? Do you want to leave your city or do you want to stay close to your family and, and just work at a local base? Once you have that figured out, then you can start thinking about what job you want to do in the Air Force. There are two ways of joining. There is full-time and part-time. Full-time being active duty and part-time being guard and reserves. It's going to be a four to six year commitment. So answering those questions is important because it will affect your lifestyle for the next couple of years. Once you have those things figured out, you're a good starting point. If you choose to go active duty, you will be leaving your house and you will be going to some undetermined base and you will be placed anywhere from close to your house to the other side of the world. In active duty, you will be full time, always on call, 24 seven military. So it will be hard to have two careers at once. If you go guard or reserve, you will have the flexibility of following your own choices and having a civilian career along with your military part-time career. Don't join the Air Force to avoid college because you will be going to school the whole time you're in the military. You'll be going to boot camp, you'll be going to tech school, you will also learn different things about your job once you get to your base. So it's always a learning process and avoiding college is not a good reason to join the Air Force. Maybe you just don't know what you want to study yet and you want time to think about it, so that'll be a good way to think about it. You can just use the four to six years to think about what you want to do once you get out of the military. The military has many benefits. It doesn't matter if you go active duty, reserve or guard, there will be plenty of benefits for you on either side. The benefits do change a little bit depending on which side you decide to go to, but for the most part, they are very similar. You will get the VA loan, you will get the GI Bill, you will get the uh, retirement options, but they just change a little bit the way they're structured. So you still get them, but it just depends on which side you decide to go to. To recap, think about these things before going to a recruiter. Before you go to a recruiter, you should be able to answer some of these questions and have an idea of where you wanna be. If you don't answer any of these questions before you go to see a recruiter, you will end up in a situation where you did not want to be. You might end up having a job that you did not want to do or you might end up having a lifestyle that, that you didn't think about. So do some research, think about those things, then study for the ASVAB and then go see a recruiter. That's it for this video. If you got something out of it, hit the like button. If you want more videos like this, leave some questions in the comments below and consider subscribing. Well guys, until next time.